the 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 great and never late never forever, late ever forever uh relevant patrician moment <laughs> <laughs> we can make up anything we want here. We can make now. up anything. Well, let's come up with some more names. The, the, the stoic. The the, sto uh, uh, the fierce stoic. Then maybe. Yeah, it doesn't have to be true. We just have to make up some stuff. <laughs> it's better if it's not true, actually. Yeah, just say, just say words, and, and we'll just apply it to whatever whatever is relevant. Right. Uh, we've been working together for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have, and it's um, it's going pretty well. Yeah, it's going great. And, um, you know, being that I get to go online and, and, and talk about you more than before, <laughs> people absolutely love you. Absolutely adore you. I get people all the time really? saying, Patricia is so great. And I'm like, you don't even know. She's greater than you think. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't get that. But that's so nice. <laughs> people say nice things about me every once in a while. I'm like, yeah, I don't get it. I don't know. I, I don't what? Yeah. You don't know me. I'm horrible. <laughs> but, but, you know, because of this pandemic that apparently is still going on, wow. uh, a lot of us had to reinvent ourselves. And you had to reinvent yourself uh, yeah. to get, you know, to, to keep providing experiences for people, for your fans, yeah. or new fans that don't even know their fans yet. <laughs> uh, you know, they yeah, know we're, we're looking on. for that. We're looking for you, those of you who don't know your fans yet. Yeah. We're looking for you. All out there. So you had to reinvent yourself. You were doing uh, quest retreats. Right, but traveling. You, yeah, traveling, you know, bringing fans with you on these yeah. trips around the world, giving them once in a lifetime experiences. Uh, kind of hard to do that. Once uh, the world. Yeah, yeah, especially, you know, I mean, people are, uh, some people are willing to travel, but I, I just can't put people at risk like that. And yeah. I want us, I want us to be able to travel fully, just fully, full on going for it and not being worried. So we're going to have to wait until we've got like a, a, a decent vaccine that is widely available. Widely available. You know, that's Taken. the other piece of it. Yeah, that's got to be taken, and then we got to wait a little while after that to make sure it's so it working and all that good stuff. Yeah. And then we can go around. We can go to concerts. We can go hug each other. We can celebrate some holidays together. That'll be amazing. That'll be amazing. I'm really. I, I know that others are feeling the same way. You can feel a little anxious. So it's like, you know, that's what I wanted to do then is is when we shift gears. It's like, how mm. do we mitigate this anxiety? And uh, um, and on top of it, we have all this anxiety, and now we're isolated. Yeah, and as humans, it's not we good evolved, for us. We evolved to embrace community. Right. And you know more about community than anybody. You've been part of lots of amazing communities over the years, Star Trek, Babylon 5, uh, the horror, you know, Night of the Living Dead, wow. you know, goes on and on and on. And then all of that's taken away for everybody. Right. Nobody so how do we, so. what do we do? You know, what do we, and, and, and it was, uh, uh, we put this together in 10 days. We started, we just started B5 events. I called it B5 events because I thought that would be pretty instantly recognizable. You know, yeah. folks would go, okay, that's going to be sci-fi stuff. You know, and it, um, mm -hmm. it, just and it became like, more, way more than that. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're, we're trying to do is, is, um, get, get all these awesome people together. The folks that we are, we look up to, um, that are, are celebrities in our, uh, you know, in our nerd world. And then what do they do to stay sane and joyful and thrive? And, you know, community is a big part of that. So mm -hmm. bringing the group together and then asking them to share, like what, what, what was Nana and Sid's event like oh, oh my god oh the bardo event well you know there's been so many events over the last couple of months with b5 events and i've had the pleasure to to do my small part to to help that along uh but we what was that last month yeah last month yeah. we had the bardo with nana visitor um alexander siddick and wow it's so much more than what you would get at a convention where you line up you get your yeah. signature, you get pushed out of the way, or you watch a panel. <laughs> yeah, you, know, and you have to travel, away. you have to get a hotel room, you have to, you know, it, it becomes, and that's, there's joy in that too. That's a yeah. lot of fun in oh, that. Yeah. You miss it. But it, if we can't do that, then then this is, it's a new experience, a different way of, of experiencing your heroes. And mm -hmm. what Nana shared was about trauma and how to overcome trauma, and that trauma is that it's a universal experience. Everybody is going to be traumatized. And then 
how do we thrive past that? You know, how do we get mm -hmm. through that? How do we not let it crunch our lives down into a narrow view? How do we still stay vibrant and yeah. grow? And that's that's what she was she was talking about. So she shared what the trauma was, which is unbelievable. Yeah. And and then Siddig they were married at one point and then their marriage failed so they even talked about that like how why mm -hmm. did the marriage fall apart they're dear friends now and they're both married to other people but this is kind of the point is this is what i want to um achieve in in the b5 events um getting getting below the surface stuff and giving very uh, deep below the surface. actors and celebrities to talk about um what's meaningful to them we don't have time at conventions to get there mm. to do that kind of deep work um and that you can uh and then to keep the, the thing available so we have replays that are still up, you can still go and, and, and participate by watching it, mm -hmm. join the, the B5 Events community, and hang out with us. Um, and we're constantly evolving, aren't we? So yeah. I, I wanted to also mention that, I, that, that you, I met you at a Yuri's night, and mm -hmm. I just really dug your energy and what you were doing. So um, kind of stayed in touch. And when this started to happen, I, I really couldn't imagine anybody else to bring on to make it work. To, well, thank you. I was very surprised that you contacted me <laughs> uh, <laughs> many, many months ago at this point. But, you know, yeah. I always, I always try, you know, Yuri's night was great. I was talking to everybody. I was talking to. Super fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Rico Anderson, uh, Andre Tim, Portman, Tim, Russ. Tim Russ, you. Uh, lots of people in the community. In Chase the was there. Community. Wasn't Chase there? Chase Masterson? Yes, she was yeah. around there. And then, yeah. uh, but I always remembered you the most. I was like, that was the best time when oh. we were talking, hanging out, and chatting, and talking about everything. I always remembered you more than everyone else. And then you contacted me, and then you know we kind of chatted, felt each other out a little bit, see what our vibes were. <laughs> like, yeah, this will probably work. And then B5 events, as well as, you know, uh, magical learning, and there's lots of different things going on now that, you, right. that you've created. Um, we've kind of been learning together and figuring stuff out together. Oh. And then you'll come up with an idea and I'm like, yeah, and a lot about this. And you're like, yeah, and then you come up you know, we, you know, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's very collaborative. Yes. And, very um, collaborative. But also just as a fan, just as someone, you know, with B5 events, I'm lucky I get to, I get to take part in these as a fan as well, these events uh, every month. And I was so, and I was talking to people that know nothing about any of this stuff, you know, people in my life. And I was like, I had the most amazing experience today. I was listening to, you know, not a visitor, Alexander Siddig, you know, talk about this personal stuff, very personal stuff. Mm -hmm. And I remember the thing that always stuck with me is when Nana was telling her story and I was watching uh, Siddig coming to realize that he was having realizations while she was yeah. talking and I was watching him yeah. understand their relationship better mm. after all these years. And then he wanted to keep talking about it. And of course, you know, we only have a bunch of hours that we have on these events but you know that's a couple days conversation that that, that that he was wanting to have with her and uh it was it was so magical but it was also still nerdy and fun yeah because you know the stuff that we get at conventions is hey remember this episode and you know the the, the warp engine was doing this and you know, the <laughs> actors respond we always start out with all with all that great fun nerdy stuff and then Absolutely. it just starts Got getting nerd deeper out. <laughs> and deeper and deeper and then you get the vip party where it's all the guests and the fans that are part of the vip and everybody is there all their faces are there and they all get to talk and they all get to have a conversation right. uh with the guests like that one-on-one -on -one, you know have a chance for to be seen mm -hmm. and to be and to say something and be heard this yeah. is this is, I think, really important right now. Yeah. And, really and important. The fans, like with the, with, well, with all of them, really, with all the events, but with Nana and, and Sid, it was everybody got their opportunity to tell uh, tell both of them what they meant, met, what they're going through in their own lives, mm -hmm. and they get a response as well. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, you just don't get that at at the conventions there's no time there's too many there's no time there's, there's just too no many time. people vying for time it's and it's not that kind of vibe like you were saying you vibe out it's a you know that the vibe is very different at a, at a in-person convention and and that's 
part of the fun of it. But we have an opportunity here for this, this deeper dive. Um, and we're still changing it up. Like Tim's event's going to be different than any of the previous events. Yeah, and they're always personal, personalized. Always to the personalized, guests. and and always have that aspect. But we're adding now. We're adding a, a, an hour of community community before Tim steps on stage on mm -hmm. stage in the Zoom world. <laughs> but, you know, we we're going to nerd out together before we nerd out with Tim. Yeah, <laughs> and we are just you know? days away from the Tim Russ. Um, event Saturday uh, the 14th right um, tell us a little bit more about what you expect or what you're hoping for this event uh, well, with Tim. Tim yeah thank you um, Tim is is a uh, is a strong individualist. I, I think a lot of actors, we tend to be people pleasers because that's how we get our work is, you know, we want people to like us and think we're all that so that they hire us and, you know, put us in front of, uh, of an audience. And then the audience is judging us. So we want to be liked, or, you know, so it's always that. But what I love about Tim is that he's so very much himself yeah. and he's, um, and he's a very gracious person, and but he's also brooks no you know fools. <laughs> he's not mm -hmm. he's not interested in in um, bullshitting. Yeah. So I, I really no like that about him. Yeah, it's just he doesn't need to. It's not it's not he just doesn't need to. He's yeah. very uh, authentically himself, and his um, he's had such a career. When you really start to look at all the things he's done, not only has he been super serious as a Vulcan, but then mm -hmm. he's been totally goofy on, on iCarly and in Spaceballs. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I was watching really all this. I was looking for clips of him uh, just a little bit ago, and so I got his dramatic reel, I got his comedic reel, yeah. and I got some other clips from other things. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, wow, he has done, uh, you know, so much stuff. And then I was, of course, I was watching his music. Yeah. And, and then I and forgot. He's a musician. That, <laughs> yeah. Musician. And then I was watching one of his music videos, and I just forgot that I was looking for clips, and I was just was listening to the music. Just got enjoying. Yeah, yeah, just jamming yeah. out on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so I mean, that's coming up soon. I'm gonna put a link. Uh, below wherever this oh, conversation you. is going. I'm going to put the link so people, because we're, we're only a few days away. We're yeah, only a few and, days away for this Tim Russ event, personal event. You, the fans, and Tim. Right. Tuvok. You know, yeah. he's going to give you some wisdom, and we're going to yeah. talk about astronomy. I mean, he's yeah. very involved with astronomy. Yes, and I'm curious about that. I mean, I've I've been on the, the I've known Tim a long time, mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't, hung out. It, that's one of the pleasures about going to conventions is you get to also then hang out with people in a way that you would we never did on the set because we're working yeah. our butts off. Yeah. So uh, I, I found out about his astronomy and to listen to him talk about it got, I was like, oh my goodness, fascinating. And fast that there is my Vulcan. Yeah. Yeah, as, yeah, as, as, as Tim would say, fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think there's uh, also a very kind of like this profound side to astronomy, right? So yes. you're, you know, the, you hear astronauts just when they come back, they're they're deeply spiritual people because you can't experience that without going, wow, there's something behind. This is amazing. This is bigger than my brain can, yeah, can absorb. Absolutely. And it's on a spiritual level. I don't mean religious at all. I just mean, you know, getting you in touch with some a power greater than yourself. And, you, mm -hmm. and you're part of that. You're part of the universe. You're made of the same stuff. Yeah, we're made of star stuff. I love that. Yeah. I love that. So every, I think this is going to be a really interesting conversation um, and, and fun. You know, just yeah. fun. So, uh, and then we have Armin Shimmerman coming up, and Armin's right. another one who is just, you know, just a, an amazing human being. I, that's what I wanted to share with the fans: is these these people are wonderful, and that's why we love them because they're yeah. so talented. But you don't even know this whole other piece yeah. about them, and, and that's what with, I want you to know. Yeah, and especially with Armin, who. You know, he's in a lot of things, but everyone knows him as Quark more than anything. More than but anything, he's behind yeah. a mask. Right. Armin's right. inside there. Right. You know, and, yeah. you know, playing another part of him that he's, you know, that, you know, he's a life that he is, you know, well, a character he's bringing life to. But there, and hilarious. Armin's inside there. Yeah. And he, but he's, of course, a complete professional. I just hear always the best things about him on set. 
And, just, just, and he has you know, another one with a massive career, a strong theater um, career, and he participates and directs and teaches at a theater here in Los Angeles. So we'll we'll talk to Armin more about that. Maybe he'll actually uh, pick a pick a participant who he can coach into a little scene. Oh, wouldn't that be ooh. fun? Me, me, me. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So I thought, I, you know, I'll be a guinea pig. You can use me, and then yeah. pick somebody out of the audience and and oh, that'd be put that's us in gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's a treat, and that's something you're never gonna get. See, and and uh, Tim's a director as well. Yeah. Uh, he is a writer and director and producer, and he he's directed Star Trek Voyager. He's been, uh, you know, so he's behind the camera, like Jonathan Frakes. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll get it. We'll definitely get him talking about that as well. Uh, maybe maybe I'll do the same thing. You want to be in a scene with Tim? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be directed by T Tim. That that could be fun. Maybe that's an auction. You can auction that off. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, the, and, you know, uh, we'll get somebody it's to only, the you, Yes, I love that. That's a great <laughs> idea. A great idea. We're, we'll keep coming up with it. This is what happens with JP and I get together. We start with our ideas. <laughs> yeah, because, so yeah, yeah. yeah, we keep bouncing all these ideas, and, you know, and I'm yeah. always like, oh, that's a good one. And you're that's like, a good oh, one. that's a yeah. good one. Oh, let's build upon that. And then we end up doing totally something different. Because <laughs> those two ideas together created this other idea. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we got Tim this weekend, the fourth, Saturday the 14th. It's going to be an hours-long event hanging out talk you know you're gonna, you're gonna be chatting with him learning all the all the the, the deep details and stuff i know you have mm -hmm. a great uh on set story between mm -hmm. the two of you that you're gonna mm -hmm. share uh back when he was playing a, a klingon he played a klingon on deep space nine on deep space nine and then uh and then next month do we have the date for armin December 5th. December 5th. Uh, it's a holiday miracle, you guys. December 5th. <laughs> holiday miracle. And, and there is a way to get free tickets on oh. Patreon. And plus, everything comes with a replay. So even if you can't attend live or watch the whole thing, you get the replay. So you'll be able yeah. to see everything. Yeah, the yes, replay. and the Patreon, my Patreon page has a, a level, the Elven Magic Master level on up, that you get a free ticket each month to a B5 event. So so you sign up for that, boom, you got a ticket. You to, already got a ticket, you're in. You already got a ticket to Armin, you got a ticket to Tim. And whatever's yep. coming up in the future, you get That's one of right. those every month. That's right. Yeah, I'll have a 2021 calendar out soon. I've got a lot of. See, this is what's so great is we've we've laid some groundwork, and now um, other actors who maybe don't know me as well are starting to trust me because they can see we've already done these events, and they're going, "Oh, okay, this is solid." And, and so I'm I'm looking to expand. You know who we get to bring in. Yeah, is there, uh, do you have ideas of, of who you'd well, like to, to ask? Or? I do. I, I, Tony Todd is a, is a good friend, and he's always working, so it's kind of hard to get a hold of, but I think he'd do one. I'm hoping that folks... Well, he just popped in the other day on a B5 did. event. He did. We had a, a watch party for Night of the Living Dead 1990 with Billy Butler and I, and, and Tony popped in to say hi. That was really fun. That yeah, was really everyone fun. was freaking out in the chat. I was watching, and then I was Hey, Tony's here, and then yeah. there he is on the screen, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, I love <laughs> really you so fun. much!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so you never know sometimes who's going to pop in on some That's of the right. events. Mm -hmm. And then, oh wait a minute, aren't you and Billy going to be doing a whole series? Are you, are you working? We hope to. Out? He, Billy, Billy's in the middle. See what happens is he's a director and a producer and writer as well, and so mm -hmm. he's now on to another project. I don't know when it'll happen, but we're calling it the Bewitching Hour, mm -hmm. and maybe I'll just host it some by myself until Billy can pop in but i just wanted to we wanted to do kind of a horror themed event that would be um i don't know inviting all our goofy friends in and yeah and well this I, day and age horror is all it's not just an october thing anymore that's right yeah the horror fandom is year round that's it's right year round horror movies come out year round that's right assuming movies still are going to be coming out <laughs> over the next year or two <laughs> well we have our tv shows i guess you know we, yeah well i'm starting to prefer tv more than movies anyway because mm -hmm. you get the, those you know those full stories but patricia i want to thank you for uh you know coming here hanging out talking thanks for having me thanks for <laughs> thanks for calling me all those months ago <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> as well yeah uh, we'll we see where we're gonna go who yeah, knows what's our, gonna happen <laughs> who knows we so far we have our fun little powwows every week and that's always a good time and um I'm gonna oh I'm gonna put a link down below for the the Patreon level oh, or just the Patreon you. so that people can yeah. get those for those that are interested in getting a free ticket every single month. That's right. Um, That'd be great. I would uh, love that, that probably doesn't apply for quest retreat trips though. 
<laughs> not quite. No. Not quite. That's going to be a very high level if you ever do that. It is. It's pretty <laughs> high end. But it's a, it's, it's, well, that's another conversation. Yeah, that's, a, <laughs> that's a whole that's other a, conversation. Oh, so Patricia will be coming back and we'll be talking about quest retreats. Uh, that's that's right. When that's we're right. Back. I have, right. I, well, do sign up for B5 events, guys, and get your email in there so that I can let you know what we're going to do. We'll have a webinar on, on a, an Africa trip. Um, when obviously, no dates or prices. It'd just be fun to explore Botswana with mm -hmm. uh, myself and Amy Attenborough, and that'll be at the end of November. We'll have a replay available again as well. Wakanda but that might be forever. Maybe oh, there's some... live and have fun. Ask yeah. me. And it's free. That'll just be free. And, you, and you'll figure out a way to make it a, 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 a nerdy, magical... Af trip to Africa. Oh yeah, no question. <laughs> we are. I, I got that dialed in. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's but awesome. yeah, we just we just have to wait for you know until things get ready and the world turns right again. I think we're all used to waiting for things. Yeah. At this point, we're waiting for. Yeah. I'm waiting for the Orville, but they start filming in uh, three uh, three and a half weeks or so. Oh wow, that's great. They're coming back. Good news. So. Good news. So I'll let them know that you're interested in playing a character. Okay. <laughs> just a one, just a one day thing. Yeah. Because you're busy. Great. You're busy. I'm busy. I'm busy, girl. <laughs> yeah, we'll send you down to Century City. You'll film something, and then you'll, you'll be back. Yeah, they, right. they look like a fun crew. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. I'm going to put the whole suite of Patricia Tallman links down below. <laughs> and uh, as always, everybody, I hope all your times are egotastic fun times. Love Ego you. Bye bye. Fun. Egotastic. Egotastic fun time. We're gonna have a great time. Egotastic fun time. Give me all your money. Give him all your money. You will find me funny. Just give me money. I love money. Give him all your 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 money.